Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at two single engine turboprop high performance aircraft and comparing them. We have covered both aircraft in separate videos, but we have not compared them. Our first aircraft is the TBM 940, which is the newest variant of the proven successful TBM aircraft. Next is the Cessna Denali, which is a new aircraft that Cessna is bringing to the scene. I think we can definitely have faith in the capabilities of Cessna to make a great aircraft. The Cessna Denali is an American single engine turboprop aircraft under development by Textron Aviation. It will have two configurations. Both are passenger configurations, but one is an executive configuration holding up to six passengers. The next is a high density configuration holding up to 11 passengers. Textron described his cabin as a jet inspired cabin design that leverages decades of Cessna Citation experience, which is Cessna's business jet line. Now this is Cessna's reasoning for the aircraft, and I am quoting, sometimes segments of the aircraft market grow stagnant and become ripe for disruption. The Cessna Denali single engine turboprop, a brand new high performance aircraft that changes everything. Designed with more performance, more versatility, lower operating costs, smarter cabin space, and a superior service network. The TBM is a high performance single engine turboprop light business and utility aircraft. The TBM 940 offers the ultimate developments in avionics and comfort for a general aviation aircraft. As an evolution of the TBM 900 and of the TBM 930, the TBM 940 retains the airframe commonality with its predecessors, incorporating a variety of aluminum and steel alloys, titanium, as well as advanced composite materials. The TBM airframe offers unmatched structural strength and durability at the lowest possible weight. From its inception, the TBM aircraft family employed a fail-safe airframe design, including the use of multiple load paths, a crack stopper band, and an optimized number of access panels to maximize structural life and subsystem reliability while also minimizing repair cycle times. The TBM can hold up to six passengers. The flight deck of both of these aircraft features Garmin G3000 avionics, an all-glass integrated avionics system with high-resolution displays and touchscreen controllers that provide situational awareness and intuitive operation for the single pilot. Both aircraft add a touch of their own to make the cockpit even better. The Denali adds a FADEX single power lever with detents and digital power control so that you have an easy flying experience unlike anything else. The TBM 940 adds TBM EcoPilot. TBM says that you're never alone with the TBM EcoPilot functions. They ease your workload with an angle of attack indicator, an enhanced safety protection or underspeed protection system, and emergency descent mode on your autopilot. A smartest stick shaker warns you in the event you fly outside of the flight envelope and the auto throttle is linked to the autopilot and participates to increase pilot's workload reduction. Now we'll move on to comparing the power plant of these two aircraft. It's very common in this class of aircraft to have Pratt & Whitney Canada as the power plant. But the Cessna Denali took another route. And in November of 2015, GE Aviation announced that the General Electric Catalyst engine had been selected to power the Cessna Denali. It has a power rating of 1300 shaft horsepower. Partnered with Macaulay Blackmac carbon five blade composite propellers digitally controlled with reversing and ice protection. The engine manufacturer for the TBM 940 is Pratt & Whitney Canada. It's powered by a PT6A-66D engine model with a power rating of 850 shaft horsepower partnered with Hartzell 5 blade composite propellers that features reversible pitch, constant speed, and fully feathering propellers which were designed specifically to improve the aircraft's takeoff distance climb and cruise speed. Now we're going to begin a comparison between the performance of these aircraft. When it comes to speed, the TBM 940 wins. It has a max cruise speed of 330 knots, while the Cessna Denali has a max cruise speed of 285 knots. Initially, I would have thought that the service ceiling would be more competitive, but as it turns out, both of these aircraft have a service ceiling of 31,000 feet. The main determinant factor in this case would be the climb rate. The TBM 940 advertises the ability to reach 31,000 feet in 18 minutes, 
but we have not yet confirmed a crime rate for the Cessna Denali as of the making of this video, and I won't speculate. Next, we'll discuss the range of these two aircraft. The TBM has a maximum range of 1,730 nautical miles when flying at 252 knots at 31,000 feet. But even at a faster 326 knots, it can fly 1,440 nautical miles based on one pilot and 45 minute fuel reserves. The Cessna Denali has a maximum range of 1,600 nautical miles based on four passengers and one pilot at a high cruise speed. Since a lot of the Cessna Denali specifications are preliminary, there is not as much information to compare, so we are only comparing the available information onto the payload. The Cessna Denali has a full fuel payload of 1,100 pounds. The TBM 940 has a full fuel payload of 891 pounds. The Cessna Denali has a cost of about 4.8 million US dollars while the TBM 940 has a cost of about 4.3 million US dollars. Lastly, we're gonna look inside the airplane and at their cabin dimensions. The Cessna Denali has a cabin height of four feet, 10 inches, a cabin width of five feet, three inches, and a cabin length of 16 feet, nine inches. On the other hand, the TBM 940 has a cabin height of four feet, a cabin width, of 3 feet 11.64 inches and a cabin length of 13 feet 3.45 inches. We're unable to compare the operational cost because we do not have the information on the cost of the Cessna Denali, but I can mention that the TBM 940 has a direct operational cost per nautical mile of $1.91. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to know your thoughts on the new Cessna Denali and the TBM 940. If you enjoyed this comparison video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications when I upload a new video. That's all for this video.